welcome back to my channel um today i decided to do another installment of my all of my eyeshadow collection uh palette bingo um other people do it with their palettes but i don't have that many and they're all kind of monochromatic so what i did is i put the amount of eyeshadows every single eyeshadow pan i have um like every little number on a sheet of paper put it in my cup because i use my phone as my filming thing camera anyways so yeah i am gonna go ahead and get started um without any more rambling um so yeah i'm gonna pick five eyeshadows like you do for bingo five um and then i'm gonna try to make eyeshadow look with it and then um i'll show you how i do it and then show you the full face and all that stuff so Let's go ahead and get started. All right. First eyeshadow is number 92. Okay. So we got a new one that I just got um, from ColourPop. First shade we have is Conjure Up. It's this like teal green. I'm going to do it in the sand. It's like this cool teal green that I got. I'm going to do swatches of everything as I'm going and then I'll show you what we got. Alright, so that's number one. Let's see what number two is. Alright, number two is number 61. Okay. Well, that turned out great. Um, number 61 is in my Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette, and that one is this shade, number eight, in the palette, because I'm going from, sorry, I'm going from here to here, here to here, here to here, with the numbers, because I don't have um, names. So it's number eight, so it's gonna be this shade. And this one's just like a flat white, like bone color, so that one will be nice to have with this as well. Um, all right, so far so good. We have some color, which last time we didn't, so. All right, number 29. This one's interesting. Uh, so I have this eyeshadow that I tried to tear the package up of, up of, and it wouldn't come out of the shadow, or it wouldn't come out of the base of the whatever. I'm gonna have to like heat it up and get it out. Um, but I've been too lazy to do it, so I just pop the top off, and so I don't even remember what the name of it was but i know i think it was from city color cosmetics but it's this one it's like a green with a lighter green gold Ooh, shift i almost swatched it right on top of that bone color it's invisible Ooh, those are fun together i like that all right so that's what we have so far so this should be fun i'm excited all right, fourth. Yeah, whatever, we have two. I got two, so the last two ones is, oh, weird. Okay, so we got from the Huda palette for number 59, we got the shade number six. So that's this shade right here. This'll be weird. I mean, sh I mean, she's okay. And then 84, which is from, oh gosh, from the Melt Cosmetics palette, um, the Gemini palette, sorry, um, for the shade Goals. Ooh, okay, so my palette, this is like the only shade that kind of popped out, but it's this shade right here. All right, so we're serving up some green looks today. I'm kind of excited about this. All right, I'm gonna go think about what the heck I'm gonna do with all of these shades. I'll come back and I'll probably do my eyes first and then my face next because this this look is gonna be something else and I know it's probably gonna have some fallout. So yes, let me brainstorm, we'll be right back. Let's get started. Okay, I'm all prepared, ready to go. Have my colors, Whew. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the eyes. Like I said, 
um, so I don't get fall up everywhere and I kind of brought it on a little closer um, so you could see the situation going on here my husband's talking on the phone and also playing a video game so if you can hear in the background just sorry all right so I'm taking my boo-boo cover-up uh, eye primer it's really just a concealer I'm going to prime set eyes my husband has like the most like deep dark booming voice sorry <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna take the number eight shade in the palette, this bone shade, just to kind of set everything. And I forgot to mention, you can use other shades in combination with the current shades that you pick, for my challenge at least. Um, you just can't take away. So everything that you picked, you have to use, but you can also add other eyeshadows, um, which is helpful. Okay. All right, now that I have my brow bone set, I'm gonna go in with um, my Lexi 205 Tapered Blending Brush in the Huda Beauty um, palette um, with this pinky, just a pinky shade, really, honestly. I'm just gonna run this in the crease. You can deaf hear my husband in the background because I have my window open. So really sorry if you can hear that, but I went ahead and fluffed that in the crease. Um, and then now I'm going to take the Conjure Up shade from ColourPop. And I'm gonna see if these two blend together like in my deep socket, but I'm taking that on the Morphe M433 brush and I'm just praying that this blends with that. Okay, so I'm not sure if it's this ColourPop shade, but the Huda shadows just don't like to blend well with other things. So I'm gonna try and go back in with the pink shade to kind of blend some of this out um, and see if that helps. Yeah, that helps a little. I mean, it's not my favorite, but maybe I'll make it more messy. That way it kind of blends together. We'll see. So now I'm going to take my Be A Bombshell base that's in my Project Pan um, in the shade Submissive. I'm going to take it on a flat synthetic shader brush or like the paddle brush and pat that on my eyelids as a base. I'm kind of covering up what I have. Uh, or the the green part ish with some of that to maybe it'll kind of deepen it up underneath the color but we'll see how this goes now I'm gonna take this shed shadow the shade of the shadow you know what I mean I'm gonna take this on the shader brush and see if that helps and then if not I'll have to probably use my finger Woo! This shade ain't playing games. Not today. A pigment though. I'm reading a fairy book right now, or fairy books, should I say? And this is totally giving me like fairy vibes, like mermaid fairy vibes. Love. I'm gonna dip back in to the Conjure Up shade with the same brush that I used to kind of blend it out and kind of see if I can soften these edges. And then I'm gonna dip back into the pink shade. Okay. I mean, it's sloppy, but I'm liking the color scheme, which is important. Um, I didn't know how I was gonna add this last shade, but I think what I'm gonna do 
is take my NYX glitter glue and pat it on the center and then pop it in the middle kind of like a halo eye um, it's really hard to do a halo eye when you have like no eyelid space at all but we gonna try it's so weird looking you know what we're experimenting and it's fun so that's all that matters okay after doing all this I think I may have, may have made a mistake I should have like flipped it like had the green shade on bottom and that other shade on top because I feel like that just looks strange let me see if I can kind of blend it out <laughs> All right, this looks very strange. I'm gonna try fix it. <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna dip into this shade. I think I'm gonna leave it like this, just kind of sloppy, um, and not put the pink back in. I think I might add the pink to the lower lash line. So let me go ahead and do the full face of makeup. I'll finish the eye look, and then we'll show you the completed final look. So I got really carried away. I was listening to my favorite podcast of life, my favorite murder, while I was doing my like face makeup. And I totally was like, oh, I just want to listen to it more and it's fine. So I went ahead and just finished the look off camera. And uh, yeah, this is what I came up with. So I went ahead and I um, just ran this um, pink shade on my lower lash line. Um, I popped some of my L'Oreal Infallible Shadow and Ice Latte. Um, popped that on my inner corner. And then I also um, ran my Rimmel Brown Liner on my upper waterline. And on my lower waterline, I ran the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk. So that's for the eyes. And then of course I tossed on my Lash Princess Mascara. Um, so this is the final look. I love it. It turned out really different than what I was expecting, but nonetheless, I think I might recreate this again, maybe without the Conjure Up shade, because I feel like that kind of made it a little darker. Um, on my lips, I'm wearing NYX Butter Gloss and Angel Food Cake. Just a nice pink gloss. Um, I really like the, the fairy mermaid vibes that this look had. So yeah, um, I love playing with my makeup. So this is like a fun way for me to get some use out of some of my eyeshadows and do different combinations that I never thought that I could come up with on my own. Um, so yeah, if you like these, my whole entire eyeshadow collection bingo, then go ahead and give this a video a thumbs up. So yeah, um, I'll see y'all next week with my lip picks and my update for, or not my update, my empties for the end of February because holy crap, February is already gone. Oh, what happened? So yeah, um, I'll see y'all in the next video and until then, bye!